Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Today I'm trying out a new crock pot recipe. It is green enchilada chicken soup. So in my crock pot, I have two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. To that, I am going to add a can of green enchilada sauce. And I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box so you guys will have um, the exact ingredients. So this is a 28 ounce can. And then you're supposed to add three cups of chicken stock, but I don't have any chicken stock. I actually just have bouillon, and this is the brand that I am using. So I have three cups of water, and then I'm going to add my own bouillon to it. So you're supposed to let this cook on low for six to eight hours. And then at the end of the cooking time, you're supposed to shred the chicken. And then to that, and I'll bring you guys back of course, you're supposed to add four ounces of softened cream cheese. I'm also going to add in some salsa verde. I'm gonna add in some Monterey Jack cheese and some half and half. So I will be back to show you the next steps. So it has been about eight hours. I pulled my chicken breast from the crock pot and now I'm just going to shred it. All right, so I've got the chicken shredded. I'm gonna add it back into the crock pot carefully. And by the way, I have um, turned down my crock pot to warm and that's where it's gonna stay for the rest of the recipe. And now, let me scoot my crock pot over a little bit. So now, this is, I think this is as good as it gets right here. So now I'm gonna add my salsa verde my half and half. My cream cheese. And my Monterey Jack cheese as well. Whoops. gonna grab a spoon. Oops, there's a little more cheese. I'm gonna grab a spoon here and then I am just going to continue to stir this until it is melted. So I'm gonna cover it and come back and check on it and give it a good stir. So I will show you what everything looks like once it's ready. So here is the soup and I just have mine topped with some tortilla chips and here it is in the crock pot. Now the instruction said after you add in the different cheeses and the half and half to leave it on warm and then just stir it until the cheeses break down. Well mine did not break down ever um, on warm so I did turn it to low and it's been I guess cooking um, on low for about an hour. And as you can see, there are some spots in there where the cream cheese never broke down. Um, but I got it out, I got the lumps out the best that I could, but there are some still, some small lumps in there. Um, and my cream cheese was at room temperature. It set out all day, so I'm not sure what happened. But it does have a really good flavor. Howard and I both tried it and it's good. It's not thick. I thought it was gonna be a little bit thicker, but it's very, as you can see, it's very liquidy, but it does have a good flavor. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some items from our freezer and pantry. So this came out of our freezer, crispy chicken and garlic green beans. And I really like this brand. I've had them before, 
um, this particular skillet before, but it's been a while. And so here it is, it's just a simple skillet meal. It comes with the chicken, the green beans, and the sauce, and you heat it up for about eight minutes, and here it is, and it really tastes good. It tastes kind of like a restaurant, restaurant style. And then we are having some mini spring rolls from Ling Ling. Now I got these from the grocery store, but I have seen these, I think it's either in Sam's or Costco. And since we hadn't tried them before, I didn't wanna buy a big box. So I decided to uh, try a small box first. So we are having those. I prepared them in the air fryer. And then we are also having some egg flour soup mix. It is hot and sour. And again, this is something that we have had before. I really like it a lot. It's by Kiko Min. And here it is. You just add an egg in at the end and it looks just like it came from a restaurant. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. I had this DiGiorno pizza in the freezer and I have talked about it a lot on our What's For Dinner videos. I think it may have been discontinued. I did find this one on clearance and it was half price, so it was like $4.50, which is a great deal on these pizzas. But you just cook it in your oven on 400 and it comes in its own little pan. Um, it's a really good pizza. So I mean, if you happen to see it somewhere, definitely grab it, but you cook it in its own little pan and then once it's out of the oven, you just put it on another cookie sheet and you just cut it up, of course. So this is what it looks like. Let me show you the crust. It's a deep dish pizza, so it's pretty thick, but the crust is very light. And let me try to let you guys see the bottom so it's nice and golden brown. It's so good. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I tried out a new recipe, lasagna roll-ups, and I was gonna record it, but I went to Trader Joe's when Howard got off of work today, and so I got back late. It's actually after seven now, so I did not have time to record a video on how I made these, but they are very simple to make. And here is the recipe. I'll link it in the description box so you guys can see it. But it called for 10 lasagna noodles, Italian turkey sausage links, cream cheese, spaghetti sauce, and cheddar cheese. And so in my pantry, I had half a box of the, these lasagna noodles. So I think I had nine noodles. And then I had this in my pantry that I used up. I did not have just a regular block of um, cream cheese. So I had this in my um, fridge so I used this and I did not have Italian turkey sausage I just had this um, and it was in my freezer and I needed to use it so I had a bag and a half of this and so that's what I used and so um, here it is on the plate and I haven't tried it but Howard tried it and said it's really good I'll be trying it and I'll let you know what I thought of it as well and then with it, we're just having some five cheese garlic bread that I had in my freezer. It's from Tom Thumb. I already threw away the box a long time ago, but this is our favorite garlic bread. And then we are having a salad kit, Caesar salad from Trader Joe's. And here it is in the bowl. Really, really good. We really like this as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we used up some pork chops that we had in the freezer. Howard grilled out for us today. So on Howard's pork chop, he added some Rufus Teague barbecue sauce. He really likes this stuff. And then I just made some macaroni and cheese and some broccoli to go with it. So the macaroni and cheese I had in the pantry, so used that up. And this is from Aldi. And then the um, broccoli that I used is from Trader Joe's and I just stir fried it in a little bit of olive oil and then just added some garlic salt and slap your mama to it. This is my plate. I didn't want any barbecue sauce. Um, he seasoned my pork chops with lemon pepper um, seasoning. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.